output is the quick phase. So as uh, we already discussed that, so when we want to run the payroll for a single employee, we use this quick phase phenomenon. Okay, uh, at the mid of the month or uh, for bonus or for the termination, we use the quick phase. So let me just query one of the employees. Okay. Um, the path which follow for the quick pay assignment, then others, and here we got the quick pay. Okay, these are the already uh, processed quick pay definitions which are there in the system. Now, uh, the quick pay for this particular employee has been processed on 6th of July 2012. Okay, let's just run. Just add a new one. Okay. Uh, I have day tracked this employee to the July 2013 because the payroll for which this employee has been attached uh, is of, not of the present date. Okay, so just for giving the example, I will day track to the 7th July 2013. So it will work same as uh, of the current date if the payroll will be open to the current date. But, so it's just a simple process, we just have to increase the number of the payroll period that is. But right now, just uh, in case any data mismatch won't happen, I just day track it to the uh, things of July 2013 and here we will run the quick pay for this particular employee. So this is the date pay period and this is the consolidation state already attached to the payroll of this particular employee date on. Here will be the run time. Now these are the two tax processing times, okay, regular and supplemental. So let's just pick the regular and we now we have created a definition of the quick pay. Here we can select, first I have to say that. What is the difference between those run types? Uh, these are the standard run types uh, working for the USA. Uh, you know there are uh, some supplementary elements as well such as bonus or uh, won't uh, work regularly. Okay, so this is for those. Okay, this is the tax processing type. If uh, this will be an India legislation, there will be only one regular. Okay. For the US legislation, there are coming as two regular and supplemental. There are some supplemental tax uh, deductions also, tax processing also. This is the salary regular and the bonus will be supplemental, right? Right. Uh, these kind of elements, you know, uh, which are uh, supplement elements, supplemented kind of elements for which tax will be deducted. Okay. So, here we can select the element, uh, let's say uh, if the bonus get processed in the middle of the month then I don't want to process all of the element for that particular employee, then only I can select single uh, uh, element. Now, uh, this US tax vertex, this is uh, the standard element uh, for the US legislation for the tax calculation, okay. And here is the regular salary. So only two elements are attached for this particular employee. So I'm just not uh, uh, picking up the single one. Let's just go with the both of the record. Okay. So I have saved the definition for the quick pay, and then we just go to the start run. Okay. Here I can um, uh, put down some messages also, will, which will come in the quick pay definition when, when we'll go and check the payroll processing for this particular employee. Okay. Now this status is unprocessed, once it will get complete, it will come as complete or if it goes into the error state, it will come as error. 